If you as a woman is being abused by a man, husband, boyfriend, friend, anyone you live with, please seek help. You do not need to stay where you are. There is no man in this world that can ever give you the love that you need or desire. You can only find that within yourself. Do not allow anyone to physically or sexually, emotionally, mentally abuse you. And you, as a man, also learn to love yourself and have some self-respect. Love your queen, respect your queen, and treat her right. Chris Sale's ex-girl, Savvy, has came out with a video describing in detail the physical abuse and mental abuse that she endured during her relationship with Chris Sales. We've heard this before, we heard about the abuse with his other ex-girl, forgot her damn name. If y'all remember her name, comment below. And there's been allegations out there saying that he did the same with Queen. People say there's three sides to a story. There's your side, their side, and the truth. Fuck the bullshit. I don't believe that for one second. I believe that there's only two sides. There's perspectives. Their perspective and your perspective. By the end of the day, if there was any harm done, shame on you, Chris. Shame on you. If you don't know how to treat a woman, you shouldn't be with one. I actually saw the video by Savvy, um, and I believe her, 100%. I believe her. I believe Chris Sales is a very selfish man. He wants to be the center of attention at all times. It's always about him. Him, 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 him. This is how he lives his life. And if it's not about him, if he feels like he's not being respected in any way, it seems that he will take it to the physical to let these women know their place. So we're gonna go ahead and watch um, this video. What I love the most about YouTube is that we don't have to watch each video from beginning to the end. We can just watch channels like The Voice for the People Reacts and they'll break it down for you. So we're gonna go ahead and watch one of their videos. It's called Chris Sale's Response to Ex-Girlfriend Savvy's Accusations About Putting Hands On. I really wanna know what he's got to say. Cause most of the shit that's gonna come out of his mouth is gonna be bullshit and we all know this. <sighs> Let's watch. Chris Sales did respond back to Edgar and Savvy's video. He said, F that chick broke her heart. She think we still date. You was looking for fame to get your clout right. Shaking my head. Y'all want me to drop that boot tap today. He wrote a song based off of this whole situation, which that song will be dropping soon. If you have not seen my previous video with ex girlfriend and Savvy explaining why they broke up, watch that first and then come back to this video. The link is popping up. But according to Chris Sales and his brother, he said ex girlfriend and Savvy is only speaking out now because nobody's checking her. They're no longer together. They're not in a relationship. Nobody has no reason to speak about her so he's saying now um to that point a lot of victims of domestic violence do not come out about the abuse until they leave so there is nothing odd about this situation as of right now she's coming out with this video to bring attention back to her which i hope that's not what she's doing because she's making big accusations but um i just checked social media just now while i was talking to y'all and savvy did respond back she said i pray any female who's been through or is going through the same thing i did realize their worth and value because no one deserves that thank you for all the hate and all the love because both is going to keep me going then she posted up pictures from that night and damn responded back let me pause that real quick. God damn, Chris, what the fuck? And there's a mark on her arm that looks like a bite. Really? Now listen, I don't believe in women hitting men neither, okay? And a lot of, a lot of women do lay their hands on these men thinking that they're not gonna hit them back. You don't know what a man is capable of when they're angry and they feel like they're being disrespected. It still does not give the man the right to lay their hands back on the woman. What they should be doing as a man, because their, their strength is triple the strength that a woman has, is hold them down. Hold their arms, hold them down until they calm the fuck down. Once they calm down, then get off her. But that, Chris, that, that ain't holding her. That was from when that chick beat her up. And then she posted- Hold on, I didn't see it. I get, I get all 
passionate and that missed things. That that was from when that chick beat her up. And then she posted up the pictures with the dates. Before I go any further, disclaimer, I was not there. I didn't see what happened. This is all he say, she say. I don't know exactly who's telling the truth. Chris Sales did say that he had footage from that night, but now Savvy's saying that she has pictures from that night as well. And she's showing dates. This is from October 30th, 2019. She's saying that she was in Houston. And then she showed the dates for December 1st, 2019. This is when she had an altercation with Deshay's ex-girlfriend's friends or whatever the case may be. I did a whole video on that. Make sure y'all check that out. The link is popping up, but she did have an altercation, but that night she had on a jacket. But uh, like I said, this is all he say, she say, because Chris uh, does have footage as well. And he said he has footage from that night and he should show the footage. Oh. Show it then Chris, because if what she's saying is not true, you have the right to defend yourself and to prove that this is not your character. But as of right now, you haven't shown shit. And you haven't shown shit from the previous relationships neither. Nobody believes you. Okay, do less talking and show this footage because right now what she's saying is damaging your career. Sure is. Do have money to buy food, net socks, clothes, socks, shoes, shoes, shoes. I was everything, bro. Nobody about to go back and forth with it. Look. And then I'm look. And look, I'm not capping. I swear to God on my son, on my son, this desperate looking for attention. Don't believe this. She's doing anything to get attention. Oh God, I'm not about to go back. This is fuck Chief Keith. <laughs> Chief Keith? Keith? Chief Keith? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this is gonna fuck every industry. I, I can't even fuck with niggas now because she done fucked every nigga. Keith? Look at, why does Chris always have to have a hype man though? Every time he has to talk about his relationships, the drama that he goes through, he's always got to have one of his boys with him hyping up the situation, backing him up. And they're the worst kinds. His friends are the worst kind. They're there literally to witness the abuse. Tell me not. Tell me not. They're witnessing the whole thing, but they're, they're going to be your friend because uh, they want that clout. They want that money. So you have to, you know, they gotta kiss your ass. So this is what they do. And you guys are making fun of the situation. There's nothing to be funny about. This is a big accusation. If it's not true, Chris, you need to fucking let these people know and be serious about it. But here you are joking about the situation. This is why I don't believe you. Y'all took a break and she fucked Chris Brown, wasn't it? She Chris Brown and B Rock. I said, you fucked who? She said, yeah. I was just at his house and I just, I just gave it up. <laughs> what does her sexual activity have to do with the abuse that she's talking about? This is what a lot of men do. They try to tear the woman down, try to beat them down, try to make them look horrible just to save themselves. Not to say that, she's, that she wasn't that person that was sexually active like that, but this is what, this is what a lot of men do. Say, say, man. She said, I put my hands, I put my hands on you because you was punching me and I grabbed you, grabbed you by your arms and ran out there to my brother and my sister. My brother and my sister was there watching everything. They heard everything. And you, okay, if that, if that was true, Chris, there should only be marks on her arms. There's marks all over her side. Explain that. My little brother had footage. I ran out there so you can't hit me. Cause my Instagram was on your phone and I wanted to get my Instagram on the phone so she doing all this, that, and the third. Y'all believe everything I so go to. Y'all can't believe everything that any you say. These bitches trying to come up. Am I like a come up meal ticket or something? I'm not fucking with no more. I done put all my on. Bitches look at me and like, oh, oh, we going to the top with Chris. And this I put my fucking son on Instagram, I'm like, I don't fuck with you. You talking about Chris or something? Yeah. Like I'm a small bitch, I don't miss you. I'm in the I got you, but I really don't like it. Like, my best friend, like, right? And then, when I go to a large school, that's not like I'm not really, like, in the room, because it's just, like, it's like a bad, like, you know, I feel the best friend in my life, I don't really, like, talking about it, but, I don't know, I've been in the same place about it, because it's, like, I'm not 
I keep crying for somebody. I keep talking to my name. I keep talking to my name. That's my name. Why I kept talking to him? I said, it happened because I wanted my stuff back. I wanted to try to play it cool so I could get the rest of my shit from the crib back. He... <coughs> it's not that easy to cut someone off, especially if you've been abused. Their relationship was not that long, but a lot of relationships who've been in a domestic violence situation for a long period of time, once you leave, there's still gonna be some form of communication because of items being in the home, of children being involved, of pets, like dogs being involved in the situation. So in her case, I guess she had some items in the home. That's why they were still communicating. What it is, and I was trying to get half of my money. It was old to me. It's a lot. I don't really feel like talking about it. I don't even explain myself. I already said enough with that video, and that's what it is. Now, I don't have my stuff, but my bullets, yeah, I'll get over there. Everything I got is over there for this, but I don't really care about it no more. I'm gonna just grind, get this money up myself. The only reason it really, like, blew my is because, like, I wasn't doing nothing else for the entire, like, two months, three months, except making YouTube videos with you. So it's kind of just, like, like, I didn't have no money coming in. That was, like, we, we agreed to say everything half half, so it was, like, it affected me a lot. Like, I didn't have no money. I'm not gonna hold you. That's an example of control. When the abuser is financially in control, he's gonna hold that against you. So every money that is made, even though you helped him along the way, his controlling personality and his selfish needs is gonna keep all that money. It's gonna keep all that money. He's gonna feel in his head that only he deserves that money. That you should be thankful that you even have anything that he decides to give to you. Shoes, purses, jewelry, clothing. You need to be thankful. That's, that's the way um, an abuser's mind works. It's a sense of control. They want you to feel dependent because they then that will give you a reason not to leave. Like, do all this actually photo shoots, put a low promo, like a bunch of, so I could be able to pay my bills and shit until I can really get my money back up to where it was at, like, you know what I mean? But I ain't tripping no more, I ain't tripping on my stuff, I don't care about it no more, you can't keep everything. I'm just gonna move forward, that's why I'm dropping my businesses, my eyelash brand, I'm about to drop my skincare products. I'm still, my skincare products is gonna be a little longer, because I've really gotta, like, make the products in, like, this, all, everything, like, the packaging, all that, but my eyelashes, I already got them coming in, I got a whole bulk package coming in, so I'm literally getting my website, um, post, I'm gonna get my website done, um, either today or tomorrow, but I have somebody working on it. Ladies, your grind should never stop when you get in a relationship. Your partner should never want to stop you from reaching those achievements, those goals. And this is to every relationship. Heterosexual, homosexual, whatever sexual. Both of y'all in the relationship should never stop doing what you love and want to do. I mean, I'm glad that you're doing stuff now, but that should have never stopped. We have a job. But talk about the job. You hear me? I'm working. I'm really trying. I'm really trying to flip this, so it's it's like a positive thing. And I'm just trying to like. I'm really like. I just wanted to drop that, so you guys can just like leave it alone for real. So you know, I can like move on from that. That forgetting shit is dead. I don't know how to feel about that. So that song you made about you is a lot. I don't even hear the nigga song about me, but yeah, for real, for real, probably was a lot. He gave you stuff to. He probably did. I ain't even tripping. Girl, that was my fucking, that's my song with him. I don't care about that. That song with me was tough. I'm not about to stop liking music just because of, like, like, it's music. That don't got nothing to do with the person. And we never said nothing about loving nobody the fuck. You're capping. <laughs> I'll buy your lashes. But oh, thank you. I'm really about to jump. I'm so serious. You're too cute. I feel like looks don't really matter about what you go through in life. Y'all don't. don't even know the half of shit I looks really don't mean shit. in my past and other shit, but um, I don't know. Looks don't really mean nothing. It don't. No, I don't have my stuff. Like, my ability, I just go there. Everything I got is over there for real. All right, let me stop that real quick, and I'm gonna read a comment that was left by one of my subscribers on my last video. This comment is by Ginger Clark. She says, It's very, very sad, but how amazing is it that they're being so mature about everything? It's a rough start to a new year, but he's gonna be okay. It's finding that new normal, and he will. My opinion, I think he needs to buy a new home. Fresh start, Jeffrey. Thank you for commenting, girl. That comment was actually for a video I did um, about Jeffree Star breaking up with his boyfriend, Nate. That's so sad to hear, but you know what? 
new beginnings, new year, they're gonna be fine. Thank you for commenting. Let's get back to the video. But I don't really care about it no more. I'm gonna just grind, get some money up myself. Only reason it really like blew my shit is because like I wasn't doing nothing else for that entire like two months, three months. They said making YouTube videos with you. So it's kind of just like, like I didn't have no money coming in. That was like, we, we agreed to say everything half half. So it was like, it affected me a lot. Like I didn't have no money. I'm not gonna hold you. But that's on you, girl. You can't blame him for that. You chose to do that. You chose to stop everything. You put everything on hold for this man. He's not to blame. You, uh, you allowed to give him that control. And also, I need to say this. She could be lying. None of us really know. She showed us proof, but still, none of us really know. Just because he has an abusive behavior from his past does not mean that he also abused her. Although, I understand that abusers usually keep following the pattern and keep following the cycle over and over and over until they choose to see their wrongs and choose to stop. Comment below, let me know if you believe Savvy or if you believe Chris Sales. Let me know. And that really fucked me up. Like, I had to really start up and start, like, doing all this actual photo shoots, put a low promo, like, a bunch of so I could be able to pay my bills and shit until I could really get my money back up to where it was at. Like, you know what I mean? But I ain't tripping no more. I ain't tripping on my stuff. I don't care about it no more. You can't keep everything. I'm just gonna move forward. That's why I'm dropping my businesses, my eyelash brand. I'm about to drop my skincare products. I'm still, my skincare product is gonna be a little longer because I really gotta like make the products in like this, all everything, like the packaging, all that. But my eyelashes, I already got them coming in. I got a whole bulk package coming in. So I'm literally getting my website um, post. I'm getting my website done um, either today or tomorrow. Bro. I have to okay. Be on it. Okay. And I'm a job. I'm talking about the job. Okay, girl. Working. I'm really trying, I'm really trying to flip this. So it's, it's like a positive thing. And I'm just trying to like, I'm really like Everybody always loves a success story Always I just wanted to drop that so you guys can just like leave it alone for real So you know I can like move on from that That forgetting shit is dead I don't know how to feel about that So that song you made about you is a lot I don't even hear the nigga song about me but yeah For real for real I, I haven't heard it either He gave me a stuff to He probably did, I ain't even tripping Girl, that was my fucking, that's my song with him. I don't care about that. That song with me was tough. I'm not about to stop liking music just because of, like, like, it's music. That don't got nothing to do with the person. And we never said nothing about loving nobody the fuck. You're capping. I buy your lashes, but on me. Yeah, I'm really about to jump. I'm so serious. You're too cute. I feel like looks don't really matter about what you go through in life. Voice for the people. <laughs> Y'all replayed the same thing twice. Pay attention to your editing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just joking, y'all. It happens to the best of us. We're gonna fuck up sometimes in our videos. <laughs> Looks don't really mean nothing. I guess that's that. Tell me what y'all thought. Do you believe Savvy? Do you believe he abused her? Was physical with her? I will tell you my opinion. Yes, I think he was. I think he was physically abusive to Savvy, to his last girl, to Queen. The boy needs help. Now these are allegations, these are accusations. I have to put that out there. I have to put those words out there because uh, you never know <laughs> when it comes to court cases and suing people. I believe Chris Sales will sue the smallest fucking YouTuber just to like make money, okay? So I ain't trying to get involved in no court cases. But yeah, comment below, let me know what y'all thought. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.